Hey, what is going on guys? It is Heidi Z or HC Gaming coming back to you with another YouTube video. Um, I know this video is early this week. We flipped some things around in the schedule. Um, but we are here for NFL Week 9 picks. It is only Tuesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday. It's going up on Tuesday because Thursday is Halloween and we have a special video coming out for you guys that day. Um, we're going to be carving our pumpkins. We already did it. We've been recording the footage. And then we have to do the pups pumpkins today and that footage is going to go in there and that's going up on Thursday. And then tomorrow we're doing an anniversary themed video so I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with it. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. And we did have a pretty good week last week and I feel like, you know, most of, since most of my picks have been right, I've been making the right picks. But some of the picks I make aren't necessarily, they're the safe picks. So I am going to change up some of my picks this week, and I'm going with my gut a little bit more. Um, but I am taking, you know, my logic and my research into it as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. And I do have something I do need to point out once we get to the Patriots game. Um, which I think you guys might think is interesting. Those of you that are Patriot fans are going to be like, we're a good team. You're a good team, but we do need to talk about some things. So, let's get into it. So, last week, in week 8, we went 12-3, and three, um, leaving us at a total overall record of 41-17 and 17 for our picks. So, that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, awesome. So, let's go ahead and, um, we could re recap last week's games. I'll just tell you guys the ones that I got wrong. Um, I was wrong about the Chargers-Bears game, I was wrong about the Eagles-Bills game, and I was wrong about the Raiders-Texans game. Which hurts my soul, but it's okay. It's okay. Um... Moving on, let's go ahead and get started, and then, you know, that gives us a little bit more time for me to kind of dwell in on some of my reasoning, and especially the Patriots thing. So, on Thursday, on Fox, we have the 7-0 49ers going up against the 3-4-1 Cardinals, and I'm actually very surprised with the Cardinals, the fact that they have gotten some wins, um, that's kind of impressive. When I look at it. But the 49ers, let's face it, they are the whole package this year. If you did not watch them play this last weekend, the Panthers are a good football team. Um, but the 40, 49ers absolutely blew them out of the water. It was a blowout game. I think Tevin Coleman had like three touchdowns, maybe more on his own, which was absolutely insane. Um... But the 49ers are, are the whole package. They have the offense. They have the defense. They have good special teams. It's, they are what you want a football team to be, which is a complete one, 180 from what they were last year, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, hurts my soul to say that, but they are the whole package, and I would watch out for them going forward. Because, um, you know, how they're playing, I'm – I'm pretty sure they can go to the the Super Bowl. You have the offense. You have the defense. You have special teams. They can go to the Super Bowl. Um, when we get to the Packers, however, I'll kind of shed some light on them for you guys. Moving on. On Sunday, um, I believe this first game is in London. It's going to be on NFL Network for you guys. It's between the 5-3 and three Texans versus the 4-4 four and four Jaguars. And it's going to be Watson versus Minshew. It's, it's going to be a battle. Because um, Minshew did pretty good this last week um, when he played. And Watson is just, he's an incredible talent. I've been saying it since he was in college that he's an absolutely amazing quarter, quarterback. Um, and the Texans did just lose J.J. Watt, but I still feel like they're going to go ahead and, you know, beat the Jaguars this game. Moving on, on CBS, we have the 5-2 and two Colts versus the 3-4 and four Steelers, and I just think the Colts are the better team. I don't, I don't see the Steelers being as, they're just, 
subpar. Um, I know the Colts game this last week was a little iffy, but, you know, they did pull out the win, so I'm picking the Colts to go ahead and win this one. Moving on, on Fox, between the 3-4 and four Bears and the 4-4 four and four Eagles, and we just have to bring attention to something here. I... Trubisky is a good quarterback. He's an okay quarterback, but I don't know what it is with that offense or if it's just him in general. Having a great defense does not mean anything if your offense can't even get to where they can kick a field goal. And if they get to where they can kick a field goal, it misses to the left. It's just... The Bears have a curse on kickers or something because first it was Cody Parkey, probably some other kickers, and now they have Eddie Pinheiro from the Raiders, and he, it's, what, really? Like, that was disgusting. Um, but, like, your defense is going to get tired. If you keep going out on the field and you're not doing anything with it, you're not sustaining these long drives... They're going to get tired. Your defense can't always, you know, like, vouch for you and, you know, save you. Um, and, you know, the Bears need to do something, whether it's trading for another quarterback or adding a little more competition there because it's not okay right now. Um and, you know, I have nothing against Trubisky. I do think he was drafted a little too high when he was drafted. And, you know, ever since he started playing, they've been, like, putting a little bubble wrap thing around him. I remember when they first had him starting, they wouldn't let him throw the ball. They were just using the running game, which was okay at the time. You know, great running backs. But, come on, man. So, I'm picking the Eagles to win this game because... I don't see Trubisky leading the team down the field to score. It's just, and even when you do get downfield in field goal range, if you end up having to kick a field goal, your kicker's not reliable. So, I'm picking the Eagles for that one. Next, we have on CBS between the 1-6 and six Jets and the 0-7 and seven Dolphins. And I feel like the Dolphins had a little bit of life this last week. Um, they played pretty well. They still took the L, but I think Fitzmagic is going to go ahead and get it done this week because the Jets are playing terrible. They just traded one of their defensive linemen. And I feel like Fitzmagic is going to go out there, do some work, and the Dolphins are going to win that game. Next, on Fox, between the 6-2 and two Vikings and the 5-3 and three Chiefs, um... I know how I said I was, that last week I was going to, you know, Thielen was going to have a big week and it turned out he didn't end up playing. Well, Diggs took it up for him. He did a pretty good job. Um, between Cousins, Diggs, Dalvin Cook, and, you know, the defense they have on the Vikings, I'm, I still, you know, it's a little touchy. We don't know if Patrick Mahomes is playing yet or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Vikings to win this one just because there's that uncertainty there. And Matt Moore is a good backup. He's been doing pretty good. I know, you know, last year when he was still with the Dolphins and he came in, he was playing pretty well until he got, you know, discombobulated when he got that concussion. I think that was last year. I have two pups over there sleeping, snoring. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, I just I have to pick the, the Vikings. Um, I feel like they just have a little bit more to offer here. So, yeah. Moving on. Next game is on CBS. It's between the 4-4 four and four Titans and the 4-3 and three Panthers. And I feel like the Panthers are going to go ahead and bounce back this week. I know that, you know, the Titans have been playing pretty well since they benched Mariota and put Tannehill in. But I still feel like Panthers are a good team. They just, when they played the 49ers, they played one of the best teams in the NFL right now. Arguably the best team in the NFL because I do rank them higher than I rank the Patriots and you will find out why when we when we get there um, Next game it is on so I picked the Panthers to win if you guys didn't notice that um, Next game on Fox. It's between the one and seven Redskins and the five and two Bills and I feel like the Bills are gonna go ahead and bounce back this week 
I don't feel like the Redskins are good enough to beat them. Um, you know, they got pushed off their game a little last week, but I still think that um, Allen and the, the Bills can go ahead and get that W out there. Moving on, on Fox, between the 2-5 and five Buccaneers and the 6-2 and two Seahawks, this is light work for the Seahawks. The Seahawks are going to go ahead and dominate and win this game. There's no question about it. So, moving on, there's not really much else to say there. On CBS, between the 7-1 and one Packers and the 3-5 and five Chargers, um, I'm picking the Packers to win this game. But, what separates a good team from a great team, like the 49ers are everything. They have special teams, they have the offense, they have the defense, like I said. The Packers, they have the offense. Their defense is kind of iffy for me, um, which can definitely separate them going forward. Um, you know, especially when you hit the playoffs and you're playing the best teams. Um, if, you're, if you come up against a hardcore defense, it can stop your offense. And I don't feel like the Packers offense, Packers defense can stop some of these better teams offensively like the game between the Packers and the Lions very close game game between the Raiders and the Packers uh, I think that kind of was a blowout but I don't remember anyways let's ignore that regardless I'm still picking the Packers to beat the Chargers this week the Chargers won by chance this last week Eddie Pinheiro missed a game-winning field goal for the Bears um I just don't think the Chargers are that good of a team this year. Uh, so that's why I picked the Packers for this game. Next game, also on CBS, is between the 2-5 and five Browns and the 2-6 and six Broncos. And this is my weekly toss-up. We have two trash teams. What else is there to say? And I, I simply made this pick. I picked the Browns to win. Only because I've been seeing things about Flacco getting injured and Flacco being out for potentially five to six weeks, um, which would essentially be almost the rest of the season. Um, so, you know, their starting quarterback's going to be out. I just don't see the Broncos winning. Um, but then again, it's a toss-up, but I just picked the Browns simply for the fact that the Broncos don't have Flacco at quarterback. Granted, Flacco at quarterback really hasn't been doing anything, but still. Next game, it's between the, it's on Fox between the three three and one Lions and the three and four Raiders. And as you all know, I'm gonna pick the Raiders. That's obvious. But the Raiders are back at home. It's their last year in Oakland. They need to go out there and at least do something for us fans and win at home. Um, They've been traveling a lot. Maybe, you know, they'll get home, be able to relax, things like that. Still, you know, practice and everything and prepare for this week, this game this weekend. But I'm still picking the Raiders to win. I, We have a great offense. We just, with the trade deadline being today, we need to trade. Sorry. I saw, I saw something about a trade. Um. Just Jets are thinking about trading somebody. Um, but we need to get a, some linebacker help. It's, that's what it's really coming down to. We do have, you know, kind of subpar, okay cornerbacks. But we need to win. That's why I'm picking us to win because I'm hoping we're going to win. Um, so, yeah, I will probably, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. Um, but, yeah. Next game um, is on NBC. It's between the 8-0 Patriots and the 5-2 Ravens. And this is my weekly upset, if you can call it an upset. And let's go ahead and pull out the phone. I need to pull up some of my research here which my research was literally looking at the schedule, seeing who the Patriots have played so far this year. Um, let's see 
here. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Full schedule. Okay. So for the regular season. And I the the Patriots have a good good defense or at least that's what it's presenting itself to us so far this year. But I want to shed some light on some things for you guys. Let's go ahead and look at all the Patriots appointments opponents that have led them to be 8 and 0. They played the Steelers, the Dolphins, the Jets, the Bills, the Redskins, the Giants, the Jets, and the Browns. Do you notice anything about all of those teams besides the Bills? Those are all terrible teams this year. They're not terrible because they lost to the Patriots. They're not playing good football at all. And I know Tom Brady is Tom Brady. The Patriots are the Patriots. But I'm not buying it. The only good team that we really didn't quite realize they were good yet was the Bills. And their schedule does get a little bit harder, but realistically, most of the, the next couple games they have, they're probably going to get wins, but they do have a couple, you know, close ones, I assume, are going to be coming up, like this one with the Ravens. And we have the Texans, the Chiefs, um, and then for sure wins with the Dolphins, Bengals, probably the Eagles. Um, but let me tell you guys something. They've been playing the Trash Fire teams for the beginning of this year. So don't let that record deceive you. They've been playing the easiest teams! I'm sorry, it, just, it really frustrates me how people bow down over the Patriots when in all actuality they're playing all of the dumpster fire trash teams this year like come on the 49ers have at least their their division alone for the 49ers is absolutely insane they have themselves they have the Seahawks they have the Rams they have the Cardinals the Cardinals are kind of like the the little, like, bottom feeder. But they have great competition in their division. The Patriots don't! Let's be real, people. The Patriots do not have any competition in their division whatsoever. Whatsoever. So, how year after year everybody bows down to the Patriots, it absolutely makes me infuriated and um trade alert for us um Aqib Talib has been traded to the Dolphins um and he's injured shows that the Dolphins will take anything <laughs> but anyways um for that game between the Patriots and the Ravens, I went with my gut on this one. Usually I would be like, okay, Patriots are the Patriots, but I wanted to look a little deeper. And, you know, I've actually seen a tweet on Twitter, I forgot who tweeted it, but they said, don't put all your stake in the Patriots. Look at who they've played so far this year. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go look. And I looked and I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, so I'm picking the Ravens to win. They have good defense. They have a good offense. Um, Lamar Jackson is an absolute game changer. Um, so I'm picking them to win this one. And I, if I end up being wrong, I end up being wrong. But it's like the Patriots have not had any good appointments, appointments, opponents up until this point of the year. Besides the Bills, which is kind of iffy. Because um, the Bills still have a lot of youth on their side. Um not as much experience, obviously. So, let's move on here. The next game is on ESPN. It's between the 4-3 and three Cowboys and the 2-6 and six Giants. And I know the, these division games between them always come down to the wire. Um, 
because it's a fierce, fierce, fierce rivalry that they do have between the two of them. Um, but I feel like the Cowboys are the better team. They have Zeke, they have Dak, they have Amari Cooper, they have some good pieces on defense. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Cowboys to win that one. So let's go ahead and run over the picks one more time, you guys. Um, then we'll get to the games of the week and the teams on the buys. So we have 49ers, Texans, Colts, Eagles, Dolphins, Vikings, Panthers, Bills, Seahawks, Packers, Browns, Raiders, Ravens, and Cowboys. My games of the week are the Vikings versus Chiefs and the Patriots versus the Ravens. I feel like those are going to be really good games for us to be able to watch. And also our teams on buys this week, we have the 5-3 and three Rams, the 7-1 and one Saints, the 1-7 and seven Falcons, and the 0-8 Bengals. And I did just want to throw this out there for you guys. I don't know how much longer Breeze is going to be in the NFL, but they have an absolute game changer in Teddy Bridgewater. And what they could do is they could take Teddy Bridgewater and trade him to one of the quarterback needing teams, such as the Bears. Follow me. And I feel like that would be an absolute tremendous game changer there for the um, the Bears to get a quarterback like Teddy Bridgewater who can create mesh well with his receivers and he's just super smart. So I'm looking out for hopefully that trade to happen. I doubt it's going to happen, but that's kind of like, you know, my trade wish list, kind of what I want to happen right now. Right, you want Teddy Bridgewater to get traded to the Bears? Not just because his name is Teddy. When I said that they should do that trade last night, Athena looked at me and said, is it because his name's Teddy? And I looked at her and I was like, I didn't even think about that. But anyways, just a little food for thought for you guys. And yeah, so the Rams next game is at the Steelers, Saints versus the Falcons, Falcons at the Saints, and Bengals versus Ravens. So yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and probably go over the upload schedule for November with you guys pretty soon here. And just go ahead and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It lets me know that you enjoy the content that I make. Especially these videos. They're some of my favorites to make. Because um, I like all the thought and you know research that goes into it. Um, comment what you guys think. Give me some of your picks for the week. And... You know, did you notice that thing about the Patriots? Do you think that the Bears should try to trade to get Teddy Bridgewater? Let me know. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Join the Zoom Nation. Become a Zoomian. You can see this little one. She has videos every other Friday, but she's usually in all of our vlogs that we put up every single Sunday. Every Sunday. Um, and also, so you guys get notified notified whenever I do upload a video. We do daily uploads on this channel. Go ahead and hit that bell notification down there. It should be right next to the subscribe button, but yeah. And I think that's about it for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I just roasted my pumpkin seeds and I'm going to go check on those. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, much love and peace.